What's up you guys, it's your boy Yab, back with a brand new video. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to increase your laptop monitor, screen refresh rates, or for that, any kind of monitor. This works with Intel HD graphics, Nvidia graphics, and AMD graphics. First of all, a warning, you might not be able to boost your screen refresh rate at all. It all depends on the screen specifications and the type of panel is actually inside. All responsibilities for you, don't blame me. Anyways, in the past, attempting to add custom resolutions and refresh rates on Intel, AMD, or Nvidia graphics on Windows was basically impossible. From 2017 on, and currently in 2020, which is still working, it's finally fixed with the newer Intel, AMD, and Nvidia driver GPUs. This guy is mostly told for laptop users, but the method is simple and it's the same for any kind of monitor. To be honest, I used this uh, method recently to boost my screen from 60 hertz, which was base, up to 90 hertz. It was basically no ghosting and it was a lot smoother. So I definitely recommend you try this, but like I say, not my responsibility if anything happens. Anyways, is it dangerous or unsafe? Current monitors aren't analog devices anymore, which means they won't be broken from exceeding specifications. For example, in I know for a fact that in Intel HD graphics, which is what I have, when you set a custom resolution or custom screen refresh rate, it will tell you click OK and confirm, uh, otherwise in 10 seconds it will reset and the screen will be fine. So unless you do something really, really, really weird and off the track, then you'll probably be fine. So should you overclock your monitor? If you're getting above 80 to 90, even 100 FPS consistently, and you only have a base 60 hertz screen like I did, you probably want to overclock, so it gets a bit smoother. It won't be as much as jumping from 60 to 144 hertz, but it'll still be a, a fair amount smoother. To be honest, the only reason I used this was because when I play CSGO and I play Valorant, those two games are mostly CPU dependent and don't use the GPU that much which lucky for me, I don't have a GPU, I have an iGPU. Anyways, so, cause those are mostly CPU dependent, they run pretty well on my crap top. So about 80, 90, 100 FPS, pretty often. Anyways, I was stuck at 60 Hertz and I wanted to get a bit smoother performance if I could. So I found a Reddit post, which I'll link down below, which I'm actually following. And I'll, uh, this is a step-by-step -step guide in video format. So what do you need to do? First up, you need to have an updated Intel driver, AMD driver, or Nvidia driver from the second half of 2017 or later. It must be after that date. It might work if it's earlier, but not guaranteed. Anyways, if you're up updating your computer regularly, it should be way more updated, like 2018, 19, 20, 20. Anyways, you might have to update from Intel site or use something like Driver Booster Pro, which is what I use. It just updates all your drivers easily. I'll link the download down below, it's called CRU, Custom Resolution Utility. It adds a resolution and refresh rate profile that can be accessed via Intel, AMD and Nvidia drivers. So, first up, you're going to want to open CRU.exe. So, CRU.exe, I've got in a WinRAR zip file because not that hard to get extracted. So, when this opens up, you just want to double click on CRU.exe, which will open up the custom resolution utility so just allow it to make changes to the profile and when it opens up by the way all of these are in case you somehow fry your monitor just reset or restart or restart 64 anyways so right up front what do we have so on the left you probably don't need to do anything over here this is just i guess established resolutions that the monitor can do but what we want to look over is detailed resolutions and it says three shot left it can only hold four resolutions so right up you can see that here we have our monitor base refresh rate which is what i have it's a slightly higher than 720 720p panel and it's running at 60 hertz i refreshed everything so that we could do this step by step so first up I know my monitor can go up to 90 hertz pretty easily, but it depends on your monitor, like I said earlier. It might be lower, might be higher, depends on the screen. So, first thing you want to first thing you're going to want to do, double click on the base monitor, and then you're going to want to click copy and click okay. 
next thing you want to do is click add paste which will mean it will add all of the base stuff that makes your monitor actually work i don't know if this works with resolutions it didn't work for me when i tried to get 1080p don't know if it will work with you anyways here you see the refresh rate so depending on your monitor you want to go up slightly by maybe five increments of hertz and if your screen blacks out after you do the refresh you go up and go down so right here at 60 hertz i'm just going to go up by 60 and i'm going to go up to 70 hertz because i know that i can go up to 90 but for you go up in stages way smaller stages so click ok and here we have a duplicate of everything except for the hertz which is now 70 hertz next thing you're going to want to do is click ok cancel out and from here we're going to want to refresh and we're going to restart the computer so guys i'm back after the restart and so first thing i should have said in the video which i didn't say earlier if your intel chip uh, if you do have an intel chip is before um ivy bridge which is the third gen 3700 uh, etc you this method will not work so i should have said that earlier in the video sorry if you got to this point and it is an ivy bridge processor anyways first thing you're going to want to do go onto your desktop and obviously right click go into intel graphics settings now after the reboot the computer's got seen all those custom profiles and in cru and it's been like oh i can overclock this panel and whatever and so you want to go into the display and here we have both so we have 60 hertz and 70 hertz and you just click 70 hertz if it's already on 60 if it's already on 70 hertz good if it's not on uh, and it fits on 60 hertz and you have to click on 70 click apply new settings have applied as you can see here if your screen does black screen it will revert in 10 seconds so just click yes if you want to keep it there you go we're at 70 hertz boom so next thing you're gonna want to do just keep doing that over and over and over again slowly with bigger increments as you go so let's just x out of this and go back into cru if you do go into cru and the screen has black screen and intel had to redo it then what you're going to want to do is go into cru and just redo it so if you've gone up by five maybe go up by two if it happens again after you reboot it and everything do it by one if it doesn't work again sorry your monitor ain't compatible anyways so let's get into cru just like last time click allow yes and okay so here we've got 70 hertz set as our screen which we saw in the intel hd panel we clicked apply we clicked confirm everything and now you want to keep the base 60 hertz even if you go up to like 200 300 hertz which you obviously won't go up to but even if you do you always want to keep the 60 hertz so let's say you filled all of these up you've got 80 hertz there you've got 90 hertz and you're like i want to add another one but i've only got i've got no slots left how do i do it well if you've overclocked 70 and you're already at 90 and 90 is stable which i'll show you how to check later in the video all you have to do is delete the 70 don't delete the base 60 hertz one because that's where all your main stuff is of course you could just copy it over from the 90 hertz but in my opinion it's safer and i've got a black screen when i've used the copy and paste from the 90 hertz again if you're getting confused there is a reddit post down below which goes into a lot more detail has images and everything just this is for video format for those guys who like it so like last time i'm just gonna click add um uh, oh i forgot to like last time you want to go into 60 hertz click copy click okay and then click add paste which means all of these numbers you don't need to know what they do it's just that that's your base monitor like resolution i guess and all you're changing here like i said last time is the refresh rate now like I said earlier, again, you're probably going to have to go up in five, two, even three increments to make sure that you get a stable overclock. But I know my monitor can go up to 90 hertz. So I'm just going to click OK. So I've got 90 hertz there. OK. And let's just do a quick restart. And after I've restarted, I'll be sure to show you how to make sure if there's there's no frame skipping and 
just generally enjoy your new higher refresh rate panel all right so i'm back after the final reboot well final for me depends on how many increments you do and now i'm going to show you how to check if your fps well refresh rate overclock is stable and both of these websites are from testufo.com i'll have them linked down in the description below along with the reddit post and the cru download link so the first one is frame skipping check this all this does is it checks if your frames are being skipped and as you can see here it says performance warning potential browser started occurred that might be mainly due to the fact that i have obs recording in the background but you can test it with no ta extra tabs open and no extra uh, applications open in the background and as long as it says green and it says ready down on, down on the bottom there then everything is good you basically have no frame skipping the frame rate 90 fps should match up with the refresh rate 90 hertz depending on depending on how many you have it might say 80 fps if you have 80 hertz or depending on your monitor now this is the same website except for its uh, text frame rate tech check uh, this one i believe is slightly more intensive but it's pretty similar all of this does is it uses vertical scrolling text to see if there's any frame skipping and like like last time if it's green and it says ready frame rate should match up with the refresh rate everything's good so this is a 30 fps video which means you can't tell the difference between if it's 100 and 100 million fps or 100 million hertz but trust me irl it's a lot smoother and one thing i should have said at the beginning of the video actually is oh no i've already said it anyways i was about to talk about the third gen of intel that don't support it all fine i'm not sure if this supports amd gpus which uh cpus i mean which is a big issue because ryzen 3 and 5 is becoming more popular in five, uh, 500 600 700 dollar and pound pcs and laptops so might be an issue but leave it down in the comments below if it did work with your amd cpu if you do have one and tell me how many hertz you got down down the dis uh, comments below i have everything needed for the video including reddit posts the frame skipping checkers and the link for the dis uh, download down in the description make sure you like and subscribe it's your boy yab signing out